Parigasana. Crossbar. Sitting in Sukhasana, you prepare yourself. In standing pose, you prepare yourself in Tadasana. Seated poses, floor poses, you prepare yourself in Sukhasana. Emulating the movement of a crossbar with a little bit of fantasy. This pose often practiced with the hips aligned that makes it impossible to come to intensity. Allow the pelvis, like the triangle pose, allow the pelvis to rotate a little bit. And this will accommodate the bending to the side to a very to a very deep level, leading to enormous intensity in the pose. An intensity that cannot be achieved when the hips are forced in an aligned position. See the pelvis rotating slide. The hands do not have to join. This totally depends on your flexibility. If you are flexible, you can join the hands eventually. If you go into this pose with the goal of joining the hands, you will simply bend forward and bring the chest down toward the floor. While in reality, to, to have the proper effect from this pose, you open the chest instead of bending forward. So you try to maintain a hollow back while you bend to the side. incredibly intense stretch so when you're a beginner not so flexible yet and maybe not in such a very good condition yet do not push yourself too much to avoid torn muscles to avoid injury remember that yoga is not about a pretty pose it's not about visual effects Yoga is about creating harmony, it is about building strength and health as a result of the harmony and that is not served by pain, by injury, by visual effects. see because of the nature of the pose we take a rest sitting on the knees rather than going back to Sukhasana notice the effort that is done to pull the upper shoulder back pulling the upper shoulder back leads to opening the chest and it leads to more intensity, more effect of the pose. Take a little rest, a deep breath, allow the energy to settle down. 